Hey guys, welcome back. It's Troy from the Troy D247 Mall and today I'm going to bring you guys another review video of a new scent that I'm glad it got to me because it seemed like it was taking forever. Today we're going to review Zoologist B. Now I might be late for the show, but Zoologist has always been a curiosity of mine. Ever since I heard about the pandas, the bats, the moths, the nightingales, the T-Rexes, I haven't bought one single zoologist until today. I think it's an amazing thing that they do have samples like these for sale. And on top of the samples, what I really, really like is that they do have travel sprays that are very generous. And you can even get like a five spray travel kit that pretty much if you had like a top five from the entire collection, you can just put them in there. Now, why don't I have that one? I mean, it was like 195. That's like the price of like one Kelowna I usually buy. The reason being is up to this point, I'm still pretty 50-50 on zoologists. First and foremost, if you're just gonna look at the branding, a lot of the animals they have, well, they're not really my favorite animals. They could have just made a cheetah or a lion or a tiger, even an eagle, an eagle. I would buy the eagle, but no, they got stuff like the elephant, or uh, the bat, the moth, and in this case, the bee. And to add to that, guys, if you think about the zoo, can you really, really, honest to goodness, link the zoo with like a good fragrance? Hell no. So until today, I was kind of like off limits to zoologist. I heard a lot of good things, and then I just told myself, hey, if the right time comes, I'm gonna get me a sample of that and that day is today now in this case I put B on me already instead of just putting it on my wrist giving it a dab and then just sniffing it like this I put it on me so I can get a total feel of the fragrance itself and what the meaning is why did they even make this thing now the first thing I'm gonna say is that B is exactly like what zoologist wants which is to smell different I think that this scent for me is for somebody that has achieved somewhat of a connoisseur status among his friends, among people in the fragrance community, and is just tired of the same old stuff getting re-released in different brands. The opening is like a oomph, all right? Whether it's on your wrist or on here, it's like a oomph because of the very, very sweet beeswax, but it's not like honey honey. It's more of like a honey a darker honey sort of like a sharp darker honey and it has that vanilla that makes it smell like and I, I heard about this before from other people it's like smells like a burning candle it's like burning candle honey emanating from me right now that's what it is it's it's sweetie goodness and the crazy part is is that this honey thing which is you know what really makes it be it comes out like every once in a while it'll like it'll pop up you'll smell it and you're like mm, that yeah that's the bee right there and it'll disappear into I guess vanilla some florals right there and then it'll pop up again a little bit later I don't know but that's just my experience with it it's a very very unique blend in my opinion and it definitely smells differently from any of my other perfumes because when I bought my base perfume collection, it was for usable purposes. Sometimes I would want something fresh or citrusy, woody, spicy. Well, this is totally not that. It's basically beeswax, burning candle, vanilla, a little bit of florals all over. Slightly animalic, just slightly animalic. So it is going to definitely hit a lot of people, you know, when they smell it. And I'll say this, guys. Don't judge it by first sniff. Don't even judge it by first wear. Try it and leave it on you like the whole day. Don't just sniff it from your wrists if you guys buy a sample. Leave it on you, walk around, do your thing. I think this is the type of smell that will get curious compliments. Compliments like you smell good, but what the heck is that? Where did you get that? Because it does not smell like the other stuff. Ultimately, if you ask me, is this worth it? I think it's really worth a travel spray at least. If you have kind of limited means because there's a lot of things to buy this Christmas, at least get a travel spray if you like the sample. I believe any type of like 
you know, four to five feet to close encounters will really get you that curiosity, will get you that mm, almost gourmandish, you know, uh, it's almost like a gourmandish smell uh, from everybody. And because of this, now I have some faith in the zoologist line. Uh, this one here proved to me that they really are trying to make things different. And maybe they don't care that it doesn't smell like you know all the offerings out there that are widely popular maybe they don't care and that's why they're successful at their thing but to me it's it's bravo bravo zoologists for making something totally different totally honey and be uh going by the name of the perfume it, it really does smell like it um but in your in in its own uh way uh very strong on the oomph very almost gourmandy very yummy and then at the same time a little bit of animalic which is i think it's great is this like a fall winter spring and summer i don't know yet because i live in california and basically it's always like spring here <laughs> but uh for for now this one smells great for this type of weather all right that's it guys if you want me to review other zoologist stuff let me know I'll make one. I have camel coming, which I'm excited to, you know, let you guys know what I think about that. Camel is the most popular, I believe, from the brand. And so I kind of put some instant gratification on the shelf. And I did B first because I was really curious about this thing. So guys, again, please subscribe to this channel. Again, I promise to give you guys some really cool videos that might be stuff that you've already smelled before or tried before or heard of before but with a little twist you know i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna bring out some perfumes that a lot of you guys have probably never heard of before or just about to come up with thank you guys and you guys have a blessed day peace out